Hello, this is Zebo and welcome to today's AFK journey video. So in today's AFK journey video, we're going to run through Lenya's pool or skip to give our final verdict for this unit as to who should go for her or who should skip her in general. Okay, so if you guys are here for the answer itself, I will just put it straight to you guys. Lenya is a relatively skippable unit for most people. And let me explain why with the different game modes right there. So if we go through the Lenya strengths in the different game modes itself for the pve side of things right lenya is definitely a viable character in terms of being a carry for the team being able to do massive physical damage as well as having the ability to snipe off key targets which makes her quite powerful from a pve perspective however you need to find some ways to keep her alive and that means that in terms of a deficit pushing situation where your powers are a lot lower compared to the enemy it could be a little bit challenging and especially with the newer season coming right with wave of intrigue coming deficit pushing is going to be a massive thing once again and that's where lenya might actually fall in terms of power level on top of being i'll say like not that powerful from the deficit push side of things this unit is also i'll say like uh, quite restricted by the map itself because this unit as a melee character often get blocked out by the wall and if you take a look at her damage output right here i think in general lenya is a very very good pve character being able to actually deliver if you have issues dealing with enemies from the magical side of things because i think right now there's a bunch of meta teams like iron magical team mauler od team right together with a whole bunch of magical centric teams like tailing teams or even fresco teams they are more magical centric so being a physical attacker that does massive damage lenya definitely has the chance to actually be used in the pve side of things when such situations arises but in most cases you are i'll say like uh, better off investing in other units such as iron other nor even carolina or even smoky who are generally more versatile generally more powerful across the different game modes and they're also equally good in terms of pve content push itself so that's why lenya is definitely usable for pve but not the top tier unit so that's for the pve side or the afk stage pushing side and then if we take a look at the dream realm side of things in terms of lenya's performance across the different bosses itself um i can only explain it in two words right no teams so there's basically no teams to fit her if you run through all the different meta teams or the top tier teams in my server right here as you guys can see right for long gaze this is for alpha bear this is for skyclops this is for king croaker today's boss and then this is for necro dragon and this is for snow stomper so we have ran through almost every boss in cycle and in terms of all the different bosses i think lenya does okay damage but most of her damage output doesn't rival lily may and being a wildest character there isn't really much wilder support in terms of team building in terms of the dream realm side of things so being a unit that loses in terms of the dps to lily may which is one of the best character in the game as well as the lack of anything in her kit to actually buff up the rest of the team debuff the boss or even do more damage over time it makes her kind of restricted in terms of her usage for dream realm side right if you're somebody who's on a new account you just started the game i think lenya is okay for dream realm but she's by no means meta because in terms of the higher level itself she is a massive damage dealer but her damage doesn't actually hit harder than lily may in most cases so that's why you did rather have invested in lily may over our dear lenya over here in terms of the dream realm side of things so if you're somebody who's free to play if you're more concerned about the dream realm side of things lenya is an easy skip because she's not a meta unit anywhere and you have better choices out there in the first place so that's for the dream realm side of things okay so for the pvp performance i'll be splitting it up into two different areas or two different categories one is pitting her against the meta units or even the meta teams in normal arena and the other one is with regards to supreme arena so i'll start with the normal arena side i'll do this replay and talk about the issues with lenya so right here um lenya actually has two issues in normal arena mainly number one the defense map is actually not suitable friendly for her because while most of the 
meta units or the meta teams would actually run their defense map on map 3 which is this map over here which is kind of restrictive to Lenya because it blocks out her positioning and uh, it affects her ultimate because when she kicks the enemy and the enemy is across the wall she has to actually take a detour to run to the enemy to continue her assault itself so Lenya by nature is a very ultimate centric character so if you're able to disrupt her ultimate then that's where it could be very detrimental for her kit wise and if you take a look at some of the most meta units in the normal arena itself normal arena is basically a mix of all the most powerful characters for pvp and across the different matchups that lenya will face she's actually particularly weak against most of them right units like uh, lily may even though she can counter lily may but lily may if actually is able to cast her ultimate or cast the inbound state it can actually cancel her ultimate and then that's where your lenya is pretty much screwed and right obviously torrent is a super anti melee character in normal arena so lenya attacking torrent most of the time doesn't kill torrent but actually get killed after torrent charges up his ultimate there's also other units which lenya performs pretty poorly against such as iron control in general if you're able to control lenya she doesn't really have a way to break out of being controlled so that's where she will actually uh, get sniped off if let's say the enemies are able to control her and that's one issue and obviously Scarlita who is just really really good against melee units in general being able to stun being able to do massive damage as well as just being an amazing arena pp character so in terms of the map in terms of the matchups I think Lenya is not really that good in normal arena circumstances and there isn't really a way for you to hyper accelerate her ultimate to actually get it out as fast as possible which sort of hinders her ability as well because if Lenya doesn't use her ultimate or if she doesn't get her ultimate off in time Lenya isn't actually a very good character itself so that's the few issues for normal arena so for normal arena my conclusion for Lenya is it is definitely usable but depending on who you match up against, depending on the match, uh, depending on the map that you use Lenya in, as well as how well built your Lenya is against the enemy itself, you will get varying results. She's not exactly the most stable PvP character, at least not within the normal arena side. Okay, now let's talk about the Supreme Arena side. So for the Supreme Arena side, this is where I found more success playing with Lenya. So in terms of Lenya's performance across the different maps itself, I think Lenya still has a lot of issues even in Supreme Arena. But right here, because for Supreme Arena's case, right, if you take a look at how Supreme Arena is played out, you actually have three different teams you can feature and you can actually pit your units across different maps so this is where if there are maps that are not so favorable for lenya right you can pit her against other more open map where your units can actually position themselves better specifically units like lenya or you can obviously pit lenya against units which she's actually better against right for example she's good against uh, other ranger units that just does massive damage but doesn't have much escape mechanism units like od your uh, units like for example Arden, if she's able to kick these units right she will just bring them down units like carolina for example so these are units which are very very powerful damage dealer right and if you're able to kick them out of position and snap them off quickly that's pretty much then just drop in the team so in terms of the supreme arena side you have more flexibility in terms of using her because you have more map choices you're able to actually pit Lenya against different team setup depending on what your opponent uses and that's where I think she will see a greater effect. Another reason why I think Lenya is a lot better for Supreme Arena is because you actually have artifacts that can back up her skill set because Lenya needs to get to her ultimate if not you basically don't get your Supreme Star skill and that's where artifacts such as Cascade Spell or even artifacts such as for example Evocation Spell accelerates the pacing towards her ultimate which would actually make her a lot stronger in the Supreme Arena side of things so PvP in general I think Lenya is definitely viable but against the strongest T0 characters in the base arena itself it's just going to be a little bit challenging and in terms of the team building side I think Lenya is not a unit that is very specialable in to the usual uh, pvp teams that you think of so team building would be a little bit challenging for those low budget players so in general that's why i mentioned earlier lenya is a unit which is capable for most people because if you're somebody who's low budget or free to play i think lenya is going to be a little bit harder for you to use or a little bit harder for you to maximize her abilities so that is where you want to skip for her but for people who have the resources to get her up to a certain tier for example supreme plus to unlock her ex weapon as well 
well as her supreme pass skill to survive better i think she's a okay investment for just more afk stage pushing variety if you have the resource to spare for her and she is actually really really good under certain circumstances within the different arena game modes depending on who you face against as well as uh, depending on whether or not the map permits her usage so that's uh, her general analysis and uh, lastly before i end off today's video i think in terms of Lanya's kit itself, it's not just the kit, right? It's not just uh, her skill kit itself. I think Lanya as a character has a really, really nice design, obviously. And uh, yeah, if you are just putting her purely for the aesthetic purposes, I think that's not a bad choice as well, right? In general. So that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, just a very simple analysis for Lanya. I think as a character that came after Lily Mei and Mikola, Lanya pales in comparison for most of the free to play or low budget player so if you're somebody who belongs to that category she's an easily skippable character but if not you can definitely invest in her for some really really nice artwork out there thank you very much for tuning in do remember to like and subscribe to see more see you guys again in my next video bye guys